Hey guys, we are going to do a quick video about carrier oils and how to use your oils safely and um, comfortably for especially people that are new to oils. A lot of times you're like, what do I do? How do I use them? Where do I put them? The best bet is to always put them on your feet if you have no idea. So you could have like an ache in your arm, you can have some tension in your head. And you can put the oils on your feet and they work in every cell of your body in less than 20 minutes. And so putting them on your feet, if you don't know where else to put them, putting them on your feet for, for your kids, if you don't want them to touch the oils, you know, if you rub them somewhere that they might be touching, um, that is a great way. But today we're going to talk about carrier oils and mistakes that we've all made. Anybody who's used oils for any length of time, um, these are all mistakes that we've made and how to rectify them. So essential oils are the distilled portion of the plant. It's like the, it's the healing properties of the plant. It's um, all the cellular goodness that protects the plant and it protects us, right? And then fatty oils are like olive oil. So essential oils aren't greasy and they're not fatty, but olive oil is a fatty oil it's considered a carrier oil. Uh, jojoba oil is a fatty oil. Uh, coconut oil is a fatty oil. So when we put on a drop of, I'm just going to use Envision here. If we put on a drop of oil on our, on our skin, it's going to get in every cell of our body within, again, less than 20 minutes. And so I just put on Envision. Envision, it's a blend smells delicious. It kind of smells like perfume. It's great for your brain and um, helping you just work through your creative side. And this is not a hot oil. Like I put this directly on my skin, not a hot oil at all. I, I don't use carrier oils a lot, but I use tons of oils every day. That's how we stay healthy. This is our kind of insurance plan. Um, our health care, this is our health care and has been for uh, over 10 years. But if I were to take this oil, or this oil, this is oregano and this is cassia. Cassia is in the cinnamon family. It is um, wonderful to put in a capsule and take for any time you're struggling with your immune system. Wonderful for that. It's not as great to put in the diffuser so one time I, for the first time, after years and years of using oils, I put three drops. Normally I put eight drops of anything that I'm diffusing in my diffuser, right? And I have it diffusing, you know, for the 10 hours that it diffuses. But cassia, I know, is pretty potent. It's like hot cinnamon. So I only put three drops in the diffuser of cassia. That was too much. Like our eyeballs started burning. So are my eyeballs going to fall out when they start burning? Absolutely not. They might be irritated, but all I have to do is turn it off and it's done, right? If that's diffusing, it was too much. So what I did, I didn't want to waste the three drops in the diffuser, so I poured the diffuser water out. I can actually show you. So uh, say this was my mistake of cassia with three drops in it, and man, this was too hot. Um, it was too potent to even with water, you know, our, our waterless diffusers are more potent, but even with water, it was too potent. So I poured my diffuser water into a big glass of water that had nothing in it. And so those three drops got more diluted. And then I added a couple drops of, um, this was like a month ago, a couple months ago, actually. And so I added a couple drops of like, I think I put in lemon, I put in some uh, less potent oils. And then I poured this way more diluted oil or water back into the diffuser. And then that cassia oil that was too strong with three drops is now gonna last me like three um, diffuser fulls, refills, and it's gonna be uh, way less potent and way less gentler on the eyes. <laughs> so what if I were to take this really hot oil and put it on my skin? Sorry. And I, I'm actually not bothered by this because I use it all the time and I mostly take cassia internally. 
but say it's warm or say you use oregano for the first time and it is warm on your skin it like starts to feel warm or hot on your skin so that's not gonna damage your skin it's not gonna hurt you but what you want to do the oils are going in so quickly um, you want to slow them down so I like to put um, carrier oils in little droppers like this and this is jojoba oil and all I did was put one drop on just one drop and then say this was your arm and you put on cassia or oregano or thieves or clove those are all hot oils and you're like man this is too hot or you put it on your child my granddaughter got into thieves once and got it all over her and it got over her whole body because she was screaming and clawing and like wiping her eyes and wiping her like mouth and so of course that was just spreading thieves which is hot it's got clove and cinnamon in it so my son was like what do I do and I'm like honestly because she's covered in it just let her cry it out um, it didn't harm any part of her body but it was just hot and so she cried it out within 10, 20 minutes, um, she was absolutely fine. And then she never got into a bottle of oil again without her parents helping her. So I just put a drop of this carrier oil. This is jojoba oil that I put in a little bottle. And so that slows down the absorption of the oils and it just feels, there's no warmth anymore. It just feels totally fine. So if you know, like oregano, I don't really like the smell of oregano, so I've never really diffused it but I take it in capsules all the time. And whenever our immune system is struggling, we put it in capsules. Um, whenever we fall below the wellness line, I always encourage people to take, at that point, to take them um, internally. Like if I'm having muscle aches or there's a specific area that's kind of I'm targeting, I will put it on topically. But if it's my immune system, if I'm struggling to feel good, if I'm struggling with energy, I usually take it internally. So oregano, I never really apply topically um, unless it's on the bottom of my feet. You don't have to use a carrier oil on the bottom of your feet because the skin is thicker there. There's lots of nerve endings and so it works really well to put them on the bottom of your feet for your kids too. And it's not irritating like it would be on your more sensitive skin. But if I did that, all you have to do, again, this is jojoba oil, I put one drop. This is coconut oil and say that same drop of um, oregano is on my skin. I did cassia before, now I'll do oregano. And just say, like, this is starting to get a little red, it's a little irritating, you're like, oh, I don't like that, or your kids, like, I don't like that. You're just gonna rub this um, coconut oil on it. Or, um, I like to put it in a little container to put in my purse so that I always have something with me. Or I actually like, um, you could put carrier oil only in a roller ball. And sometimes if I don't have a carrier oil by itself, but I have a roller ball that has a carrier oil in it with other oils, and then I do something like that, I'll just take that because it does have a carrier oil in it. Take a roller ball and roll it on. Super easy, quick, convenient, great to put in a diaper bag, in your purse, um, in your briefcase, anything like that. So a carrier oil with um, in a roller ball is perfect. Even if it has other oils in it, the carrier oil is going to help soothe that um, hot uh, skin. What I've also found <laughs> that works really well is um, our Young Living Chapstick. So this stuff is the bomb. I um, don't get dry lips very often, but I had a daughter who just chronically had really dry like unbelievably sore dry lips every winter and we tried every uh, before we started with young living we tried every natural lip balm there was every single kind and her lips would literally swell up and just get more irritated and so then when I joined Young Living somebody told me how great their lip balm was I'm like gosh everything we put on her lips is terrible but I tried it and that's that was still to this day, she's married and about to have her first baby. Um, that's the only lip balm that she's able to use without incident <laughs> is the Young Living lip balm. We used to buy her the three or four pack during the holidays and we'd buy a couple of them for her to last throughout the year. And she was just always putting it on her lips. Well, what I found is this lip balm 
is great if you get little paper cuts. It is great to, this one's not open, so I'm not gonna open it until winter. Um, it is great to put it on uh, little cuts that you have. It's very soothing, it's not irritating. It is, um, there's great flavors, but it's also just very slick and smooth and creamy on your lips. And it's fantastic for all the little things. Like you have a uh, chapstick in your in your purse, so when you get a little cut or a little, um, like I have a mosquito bite that I scratched and I scratched it till it bled. <laughs> and so I can put this on there and it would just soothe and repair the skin. Um, it's gonna be great repair for your lips and it's also good to use as a carrier. So say I've got my purse, I don't have a lot of stuff in it, I have a drop of oregano that I get on my skin or I put it on there for whatever reason and it feels warm, I can take this and I can roll it on there. It goes on clear and rub it in and it works as a um, carrier oil. It is fantastic and this is just like a great emergency carrier oil if you have nothing else. Now the two places that you don't want to put oils directly is in your ears and in your eyes. You can use them everywhere else, like everywhere else, really. We do a class on um, oils for the bedroom and they're fantastic for that because the plants are have properties that really um, excite <laughs> all those um, sensitive areas of your body, but you have to use a carrier oil in every instance for the, for the oils in the bedroom. But if you get oils in your eyes, you can take um, olive oil. Don't take canola oil, don't take peanut oil, don't take vegetable oil. Use a pure olive oil. So if you don't use olive oil normally, just get a tiny little bottle of it. Keep it uh, in your bathroom or wherever you keep your oils. I have oil racks all over my house and so I have carrier oils everywhere. So if I were to get it in my eye, what I would do is put just a drop. Um, sometimes I have just droppers. I have droppers that I don't use for anything else. Um, so I would take, you know, put a little bit of olive oil in a little tiny cup and then take one of my droppers and suck it up and then drop it into my eye. You only need a drop. So say I were to get oregano in my eye, which I've done, or peppermint in my eye, which I have done more times than I can count. Um, I would just take this one drop of olive oil and I would put it directly into my eye. I grew up and we had an eye cup. This isn't an eye cup, but we had one similar to this and it was like shaped like an eye. And that was for if you ever had to rinse out your eye. So I would use this or I would just take that dropper full uh, or one drop in the dropper of olive oil, put it in. Some people like to put um, olive oil on a corner of a tissue and then just set it right here at the in the crease of your eye and that kind of absorbs into your eye. I personally have never done that. I'm kind of afraid to put a tissue near my eye, but the one drop of olive oil is not gonna harm your eye. And the oils in your eye, if you get like peppermint or oregano, any kind of oils in your eye, they are gonna burn. Your eyes are gonna water like crazy. It is going to burn um, because you're, obviously your eyes are so sensitive. Oils aren't meant to be in there, but it's not gonna make you go blind. It's not gonna hurt your vision. It's not gonna do any damage. It's just gonna hurt until you put a drop of olive oil in your eye and it just immediately absorbs it, slows it down and the pain goes away. It's amazing. It works that fast. And for your ears, if you have kids that have discomfort, you know, during the school year when they go back to school, or if you as an adult have um, ear discomfort, all you need to do, you don't drop oils into your ear. You would just put three or four drops of lavender and purification on a cotton ball. And this is for any kind of ear discomfort um, for kids. So you would take that three or four drops of lavender and purification, put it on a cotton ball, put it inside your ear, and you could sleep with it. You could have it in there for 24 hours. And then after 24 hours, you just want to put a fresh one in and then put it back. I have never had to wear, you know, use it more than a day and a half uh, before pretty much the same day. It would always take the discomfort away. And then I like to leave it in overnight for a couple days just to make sure it kind of is fighting 
these oils are fighters. <laughs> That's what they are. They fight all the things that we, um, our immune system gets attacked by. So I give it a couple days with it in my ear. You know, I have my hair down. Nobody can tell that I go, I can go to the store with them. If I have to hear something, I take them out and then I put them back in. Um, but you can do that for kids. It is fantastic for kids. And at the same time, you can just rub a little bit of lavender in front of their ear and behind their ear. It really does take the discomfort away very, very, very quickly. And that way the oils are in your ear doing all the fighting that needs to be done for you for to um, help your immune system. But it's also not putting drops in your ear. It's just working just from the... Um, the fumes of the, and then the oils that, that are touching, you know, just the sensitive parts of your skin, they're getting absorbed. I don't, I don't know all the science of how it works in your ear, but it is amazing. I've done it with my kids, I've done it with grandkids, and I've done it with myself, and it works every time. <clears throat> so that is a couple ways to use carrier oils when you're putting on warm oils. So do I generally put oregano on my body? No, I usually either put it on my feet. Um, I do put it on my back during a raindrop. I do do raindrops for people when that's a series of um, nine different oils layered on your spine. Um, a couple of them are warm, like thyme and oregano are warm, but uh, most people don't really need a carrier oil, but, the, but if it's a little bit warm for some people, um, I always have a carrier oil with me to um, just apply it and immediately it just slows it down and the pain is gone. So <clears throat> a lot of these oils, you just kind of play it by ear. If you put oregano on your feet and it's great, and then you put it on your legs because you've got something going on on your legs that you want the oregano properties to fight, um, and you say, oh man, this is a little bit hot, uh, this is uncomfortable, take your carrier oil, whether it be coconut oil, olive oil, um, the chapstick <laughs> or uh, oil that's in a rollerball or oil that's in a dropper and then put a couple drops on that spot and on your leg and just see that the, the comfort disappears. Um, it is pretty amazing how that works. And so if you have any questions, comment, like, subscribe, share this video. Uh, we would just love to help you um, choose a healthy lifestyle, live abundantly, um, feel abundantly well, and really just be able to use these products and enjoy them. Really, they boost your health, they boost your mind, they boost your brain. Um, these oils work, again, at a cellular level. They work in every cell of your body within 20 minutes. Um, it is pretty incredible how they work. They are fighters. I love to call them fighters because they do all the fighting for us that um, they help our immune system fight for us. And they're just additional power to help our bodies um, recover from all the things. Whether it's, um, you know, your kid gets hurt in, a, in sports, or you just have tension, or you have uh, hormonal issues, or you have emotional issues, you have immune system struggles, you have uh, bone struggles, um, there are oils that are fantastic for your bones, like wintergreen and frankincense, um, and help your bones do what they need to do and repair when they're, um, uh, you know, fractured and uh, not doing well. Um, they just are so amazing. And um, on, on our website, you know, Young Living is regulated by three-letter agencies, and so they are not allowed to say all the things that um, we aren't either, to say all the things that these oils can do, but we do have references and research and guides for you to help you learn all the different properties that these amazing oils have. They're super easy to come, they're just super easy to travel with. I grew up on herbs and poultices, and my mom was always mixing things up, and putting things in tinctures and rubs and uh, it was just always messy and it, uh, you had to do it at home. It wasn't easy to travel with. Uh, when I travel, I just take, you know, I have a couple of these that have four, five, six oils in them and then I can be on an airplane and I could feel like stuffiness in my sinuses and kind of have pressure in my ears. And while I'm on that plane, all I gotta do is this and then this 
There's nothing messy about it. They smell amazing. I put them on my ear or behind in front of my ear and in front of my ear. And then I do rub them on the inside of my ear. I don't put drops down my ear canal, but I can rub this on the inside of my ear. And it just helps open up my sinuses. It opens everything up. That is how easy that is. Like what kind of sinus stuff do you have that would take that short a time and be that powerful and travel this easily? Super awesome. And all these oils have like 20, 30 uses for each one. Uh, a lot of them can help your muscular system, your immune system, your nervous system, your joints, your bones. Just one oil could do all of that. And so they're multitaskers, they're fighters, and um, they're just the bomb. I'm just so uh, grateful that I was introduced to them over 10 years ago, and I've been sharing them ever since because once you find out something that really is helping your family stay healthy and uh, it's like that new purse or that beautiful restaurant that you go to that you have such great service and you just have to tell everybody about it. So I just love sharing all the healthy things that I've learned over the last 10, 12 years and um, I love helping people get well naturally. So like, subscribe and share this video and I hope it blesses you. Talk to you soon.